because I have guys that are really good passers. Okay. So we're here and also you sit up. I know that you can what's the strategy that you employ to either get them down or mm -hmm. to do what you do in the life? So let's go ahead and switch. So one thing that you gotta think about Aaron, is that when like this, I never want to see more people. See why I don't have no connection right up. I, I want to also attach to somewhere here. Okay. I want to make sure that I'm going to attach. I can just go ahead and grab the lid and come up. So if I want to come up, instead I use my own mechanic to come up, I make a little hook, and I shoot myself. I bring myself in. I, I should never let you free. Like a, right now, you can, you can just walk outside the lid. No, let's imagine you can capture. That's another part of the game. My goal is to always use the outside leg. So let's imagine we can make a little game like this. You can just you can stay close to me or far away to me. But you want to touch my head here. So you can step ahead and stay far away from me. Stay far away, a little bit far away, a little bit far away. Now try to touch my head. So now I gotta use my hands on the floor to touch. My feet got all the space in the middle. Now you throw my head to the side, once one comes in. So that's a little game gotta, I gotta play here. But at the same time, I wanna grab it. Because if I keep my feet over there, what's prevent you to get in the footwalk? You see what I mean? So I don't, this, this is an exercise here for little kids to play, but the same part for adults is a good thing. But I want to try to come up, grab, and hold it. Huh. That's my goal here. If I hold it down there, you move back, I can, I can attach myself to you, I can be with you here. So that's been my goal to always attach myself to you. Never leave you free. My goal here is to all use this. Grab. I can try to go for the other leg. All the leg. But I want to. If you got a gear. I was, that's nice if you wear no gear. If, if you have no gear here to, to be. Alright, I'll be pulling right here towards me. Now from here I'm gonna drop down, grab, try to hold. Basically what I need to do as a, as a defense uh, position, I need to have always in my environment. I cannot be defending and you have no connection to me whatsoever. Right there, so you, you have no, no, right there we have no connection. So if I walk around, you can just spin on your butt and you always keep your foot face to me. That's something that you should always be looking for. So I should never be able to come towards you without you connect. Now you can put your foot outside. If you want to put outside, just put outside in my leg. And if I start walking, just, just come up here. Hitch, hitch high to this foot here. Just hitch high. Whatever I go, hitch high. Yep. Hitch high, hitch high. If I go back, use the other foot. Now I'm talking about foot walk is here. Huh? So I'm grab it here. So anytime I go down, yes. Now if I try to go foot walk and sit down, you come up here. Come with me. I always come with me. Never let, let somebody get you your foot. Basically, when you're like this, that's what you're looking for. You mm -hmm. can grab. So if you grab somebody's gear so with you, I have my hand on the floor. I'm going to use this leg here. This hand, I'm going to move myself sideways. You know. Try to go to your back. Try to put you down. But my goal is to make sure that your hands are busy. So if I'm like this, if I put my hand on you, I want to move myself, I want to pull it down because I want to see my hands go down. Hands down, I can grab, I can try to grab, I can try to pull. That's the idea. I always control your point. So if I'm in the bottom position, I don't want to have the guy completely attached on me. I want to catch you somewhere. I want to hold you somewhere and stay here. When you grab, you bring the guy to the bottom. You don't have a lot of the guy, especially that guy's in the bottom. Because foot box is very, almost impossible to defend if you don't connect yourself to me. That's the one you most dangerous. And if you bring this to the street, the most dangerous somebody to kick you in the head, punch you in the head, punch in the face, you know, like this. So what you do, you go into space, I was over there, you can kill the guy, you stand up and this, or you attack the guy. You should be more like an you know, for self-defense street of the bitch, huh? But we learn those stuff playing on the mat. The way that I, I, I do for kids' class, mm -hmm. I tell the little kids that we gotta go ahead and touch my head. I want to still grab my head. And the little kid comes like this, and you try to grab. So here's what you do, just don't let him grab your head. Just keep your foot on ah, I cannot grab your head, let him move her up. So I take his leg out and use the other leg. I try to catch your head. So you take a little kid and play with this game. This is a very good game to get your legs on, just to get your legs on, on the, on the Jiu-Jitsu environment. Keep the guy away. If you can block people from come towards you, touch your head, that's when you block the punch. You know, you're pretty much thinking about how to block and strike in the face. Hey, use your legs. You don't, that's, that's the way to strike, you don't stop the strike. But the whole idea is always grab. We, you know, grab an arts, we need to have a, 
we have something called the distance between each other, we need to bring our opponents to our distance. And that's the main reason that I was thought about Jiu-Jitsu so unfair. Because in Jiu-Jitsu, those guys that do Jiu-Jitsu, they cheat all the time. You know, because what, what they do uh, in a street fight, they don't go after you and try to punch you, try to headbutt you, try to kick you in the head. They just walk back. Hey, I want to fight with you. But they walk back. I want to fight with you. But they walk back. So you force the opponent to go towards you. When he comes towards you, you go towards him. I'm going to shoot my eyes to life. That was my first impression of the Jiu Jitsu. I said, this is not fair. Because it's almost impossible to keep the Jiu Jitsu guy if you want to fight, you know? If you're in the street have no reference and you see a fight broke down the parking lot there, a good Jiu Jitsu guy, hey, they don't want to fight with you. He just walk back. Walk back. One thing about the guys you want to do is they got to punch me, they got to kick me somehow. You know, he wants to fight me. Hey, I don't want to fight with you. When he comes in, boom, you grab him. That's the most unfair mechanic I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's not right. If you play this right, it's just not right. You in the street want to fight to someone, but you just walk back. What kind of fight's there? You just seem fighting in the night. When he comes in, now you got two bodies coming in. So the key is to this guy here walk back. Walk back, make this guy walk forward. Walk back, walk forward. When you walk forward, you collect. Now boom. That's total fear. I felt that way. You know, if you anybody here is a boxer, I don't know if you guys ever tried it, but if you put a boxing gloves and try to punch somebody with this gun, they'll bait you to come in, and when you come in, they grab and put it down. Not when we see today in UFC, because we have referees, we have another guy who's a very jiu-jitsu experience, but tournament oriented only. So what he's trying to do. Oh, let me put it down. You want to do this in a fight? Good night. Good night.